good day. So I showed you, I showed you, um, the other day where I got started on making this, um, little fabric journal that I made it basically to where I could just do, um, a running stitch. Now I forgot what I called it. But anyway, each page was just put in here with the only plan is just to do um, meditative stitching on each page. And so I just put a diff uh, collection of different size and shapes pages in just to um, do some meditative slow stitching on each page, which I did that. And then once I got the stitching all in there, this one here, I just went around a little bit because there's a little place back here where there's a little pocket and I wanted to um, leave that pocket open for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. This one ended up having a little tree on it that just was laying here on my desk so I just stuck it on there and stitched it in there. I didn't put any running stitch on this page yet. This is the back page. I haven't done that yet. I will. And then I, I have so much of this pom-pom trim that's beautiful. Um, that was sent to me by Ray. And it's just so many different colors. So I went with the pom-pom trim and I went around each page and it kind of um, frames the shape of the page. And I went around, and each of those are just stitched on with a running stitch. And I chose a different color for each page and, and stitched that around. And then once I got all those pom-pom trims on each page, Aren't they pretty? All the different colors. Okay, then each page had the pom-pom. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll go around with different laces. So I had this piece of lace, this one here. So I put the lace around, which kind of almost makes, it, makes the pom-pom trim even pop out a little bit and look pretty. And so a few of the pages have have the lace. I had this little extra piece of lace when I was done with putting the lace on. So I just put that there rather than to not use it at all. And so then this one got the lace. Where I lay, I stitched the pom-pom onto the one side of the page and then the lace to the other side of the page. And I think that looks pretty. And this one got lace. And I run out of that kind of lace. But then I found this lace, which is really pretty. It's just a narrow lace. It's got some silver, silver in it. It's just a real pretty little lace. And I thought that I might want that in here too somehow. I just keep finding new little things that I think I might want to add. So it's not only my um, slow stitching meditation book with only slow stitching. It's just whatever I just decide I think I want to do with it. Now this is too narrow I think to put on the back, although I could do that. Actually, that is kind of pretty if I was to put it 
on the back. I think I want to. I think I want to put it like. Um, I might end up using different laces too. But see how pretty that looks right there. I think I like that right there. And so I have my. Well, there's not too much thread left on this. Let me go ahead and put that off to the side and pull out a longer piece of thread. Got on my thread bundle here. And put that in my needle. It was an early, early morning wake up for me. I like, I like mornings. I never sleep more than a few hours at a time. And then when I wake up early in the morning like this, then it's just so quiet. Everything is quiet. It's quiet around here anyway, but everything is so quiet. It's just so nice. Today I have to go and do blood work. I don't really relish the fact of having to leave home period i was supposed to go yesterday but the storm was so bad and my daughter would have taken me even in the storm but i um i um i just couldn't go it just i don't know if any of you have an anxiety disorder but oh sometimes that just really kind of rules the roost, the anxiety. So I called my doctor's office. I says, can I please wait and come tomorrow? This is a little, um, this is a blood test I have to have every month. And so it doesn't matter if it's a day or I have to go every four weeks, but it doesn't matter if it's a day off here and there and so um i'll go today and do that about 1 30. and so hopefully it's not storming again but if it is i'll just suck it up and go because i can't they won't do it on fridays because they need to call me the next day with the results see if i gotta change any dosages so, um, so yeah, look at that. That's going to be pretty just right inside there. And, and see, in, in this kind of a project where there's no destination, you're just enjoying the journey, it, um, and there's no rules. And just the simple running stitch that the, and I'm using this multicolored threads because I just love the colors I just love having a lot of color and so even this though this this lace is white it um, the the colored thread which is, this is a sashiko thread, so it's kind of a heavy thread. And it shows the color, and it just gives a little bit more. I like this. I think this is real pretty. And I've got quite a bit of that lace there, so I might be able to do that on almost all the pages. I might and still have enough. So pretty. So... I'm going to have to get this table raised up just a tad. I wonder if I can put risers under the legs. Now that I use my wheelchair to get under the table to have my legs raised up enough, my legs kind of rub on the edge of this table. It's kind of a tight fit, so... I'm going to see if I can get the table raised a 
couple inches so I don't have to complain. I'm just a chronic complainer. I see my doctor pretty regular. He says, how are you today? I said, well, my hypochondriasm is just acting up. <laughs> so he thinks I'm a nut. I am a nut. But there's no medication for that, so... I have to just stay that way. But anyhow, I like this. And see, then I have...